All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, introducing else statements. So when a condition for an if statement is true, the block of code following it is executed. What about when that condition is false? Normally nothing would happen, but uh, with an else statement, an alternative block of code can be executed, all right? So for example, if uh, the number is bigger than 10, is we're gonna return bigger than 10, else we can return 10 or less, all right? Honestly, this is unnecessary because if we just said return 10 or less, it would have worked, but not for this lesson, right? Uh, so now we're gonna combine the if statements into a single if else statement, all right? So let's come over here, only change the code below this line. So we've got if val is greater than five, we're gonna say bigger than five. So right here, instead of this right here, we're just gonna get rid of this if statement and we'll say else. Even though obviously if it's not that, it's gonna be five or smaller, but we're gonna, we're gonna act like that's not a thing right now. So let's uh, come down here, put a uh, set of parentheses around this, and then let's say home and console.log, console.log. So test four, that's five or smaller, sounds good. Let's say six, bigger than five, let's say five, five or smaller, looks like it works. Let's run the tests, looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to introducing else if statements and we'll see you next time.